In this video I'm going to show you how I use class OneNote to teach a unit of history. It was actually inquiry unit. So you can see here, first of all, the students need to choose their overarching inquiry focus, whether it was an Australian colony during the gold rushes of the 1800s or the Eureka Stockade. They need to brainstorm a list of 20 possible inquiry questions. We focused on fat and skinny questions. Choose three questions to form the research. Locate a range of historical sources to help answer their questions. Then they'll put into small groups to discuss and share. Um, then they were asked to discuss how their event, whether it was uh, during the gold rush, particular place or the Eureka Stockade had an impact on the colony. They had to write their own statement about the impact. I also linked this to English where they had to pretend that they were a character during the time and base their character on the historical context of the time. So they create a character profile, write some fictional stories, uh, paint a picture and based on the text my place create a my place image of the 1800s then the last task was them to present an oral to put support students through one note we had a collaboration page we had two one for the gold rush and one for the eureka stockade i set them out in tables for students so that was clear for them who uploaded it their comment uh, the resource and they could add a comment. The side tab on OneNote also offers a content library. I didn't use this as we use SharePoint as well so the background knowledge for this whole unit was uploaded on our class uh, year level SharePoint page which students are regularly access so I didn't actually use the content library part for this one. But you can see along the side here, uh, you can set the same uh, OneNote for each of your students in your class. For privacy reasons, I have minimised it so you can't see their names. I'd like to share with you some of the resources or the work that they did. So I've selected this student here. Uh, just let me adjust on the side. Okay, so this student here, she chose the Eureka Stockade. She brainstormed, she created the tables herself, a list of fat questions and skinny questions, and she highlighted the questions which she was going to choose. Then for each of her questions, she had a separate page. This was her first inquiry question. How did the Eureka Stockade impact people during the gold rush? I encourage students to use the table uh, because they could actually put the source. Uh, they created a link rather than pasting the URL, which took up too much of the table space. By having notes here, it minimised the, the, I suppose, the, the ease of students to copy and paste text from the web. They had a column here which is optional, key dates or people. This here I really like, which is a partial answer to my question. So how did this information answer part of my question and that was standard across all inquiry question pages. Here is her second page, her second inquiry question should be what was the Eureka Stockade. Three. Then based on that she needed after discussion with students they had to create their own statement. So there is her statement for the table underneath she's put with supporting evidence. The next part I found there was more variation in how they actually used the OneNote and that came with the part with their character profile. So this is this student, how she's gone about her character profile. She's inserted an image and used her pen to annotate parts of her profile. She's uploaded her painting here she's chosen text to annotate her painting.
She has typed stories to help her with her presentation. Uh, this student has not yet completed her My Place one, so I'll show you some other students' ways that they presented. This student here shows to do her character profile like this. Her stories, again, were typed. They prefer to type their stories. This is a painting she chose to illustrate uh, where she lived. Uh, obviously, she was a well-off person during the gold rush. She's annotated, so she's actually drawn here and inserted the image of her drawing of her place, the layout, and annotated in OneNote various aspects of her place. It's another student's approach. So there's her character profile she chose to do. Their stories and no, none of the students actually chose to handwrite. They like prefer to type their story. Her painting and her map. One more student. Um, her character profile and her story she placed underneath. Her painting. This is my place. People think we are lucky. My mama and papa say we should be grateful that we even live here. And here she chose to do a hand-drawn map of her place. So she, she drew a map of her place. She scanned it. She emailed it to herself. Then she uploaded it here onto her class OneNote page.